How good is the Dr. Dabber XS? This is their newest e-rig. They have a few of them out. They've been making them for years, but this one came out at the end of 2022, and it is the newest e-rig from Dr. Dabber. I don't use it a whole bunch, but I've had it since it released, and I get asked about it enough on my Twitch stream that I figured I needed to make a video about it by now. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, come smoke with me. I do a sesh every night at 9 p.m. Eastern. But this is a new device, and Dr. Dabber is a pretty popular brand, so I just get a ton of questions about it and a lot of people have made videos about it and some people are like bro i just really need to hear your opinion well let's talk about it all right so first off it's called the dr dabber xs they call it like a nano e-rig they really hype up how small it is this thing is huge for it being a tiny e-rig or a nano e-rig or a small e-rig or whatever like this thing is massive but if you've ever seen the dr dabber switch like that thing is humongous for an e-rig it's like this big bro it's humongous so this is the excess version of that or the small version of that but here's just a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the puff call like i'm flipping it upside down because the shapes kind of match a little better it's smaller than this but like not much they both fit in my pocket it's not really that small i feel like for the style of device they should have just gone straight up with the glass instead of trying to come off to the side because it really makes it so much bigger. Ah, oh, dang, we're on the subject of the glass now. I just poured the last little bit of water out of this one, which you can do. You can dump the last little bit. You can get all of the water out. You actually can't get all the water out on this one. It's very interesting. They have this like no spill or minimal spill style glass that's designed in a way to where the water is not just gonna, gonna fall out if you tip it upside down, you know what I mean? But like, if you see this last little bit of water in there, you can't get that out. <laughs> I was actually curious on their website. They have a link to a video that shows you how to do it. They're like, oh, if you can't get it out, follow the video. And in the reference video, it's on their Instagram. They don't get all the water out. They just blow into the mouth part and like 90% of the water comes out. But there's still the 10% left in there. There's like a good chunk of water. And like you can take it off and, and shake it and try to get that last little little bit out. I actually shook this one for about four or five minutes seeing if I could get every drop out. And it really like... You just have a little bit left over. So in my mind, I'm like, this thing is never clean. You never get it fully clean. You can never rinse it out. You can never fully swap the water. Like imagine if you let it sit for too long, which you shouldn't, you should try to clean your stuff every day. But like, you're like, oh man, I forgot about this thing. You come back and it's got like a little bit of mold or something in it. Like, are you gonna be positive that you could clean that out? Are you gonna be sure? I would just buy new glass at that point. Um, let's try to talk about some of the good things because I don't know, this thing isn't that great. For the price, it's about 160. There's not a ton of stuff in that price range, but I think I have a video coming out on something soon that's in a similar price range and it's way better than this. But it's got four different temperature settings. The temperature goes up like 50 degrees with each setting, which is kind of high in my opinion. I feel like you should give me more options or you should make the temperature adjustments just a a little bit closer 10 or 20 degrees but 50 degrees is a lot so you can't really fine tune your hit with it the chamber on it's pretty good but the biggest issue that i have is it only gives you a 20 second dab you get a 20 second hit with this max it heats up pretty quick it does a decent job when they heat up quick you have like a higher chance of the dab being hot for like a portion of it which I, I remember getting a few times on this, but it heats up and you only have a 20 second hit, which in my opinion is not a dab. I feel like a dab's at least 40 seconds, 30 or 40. 20 seconds just feels like you're rushing it and you're like encouraging yourself to do a hotter dab or a glowy to get through it in the shorter time. Concentrate takes a little bit more time to vaporize than 20 seconds. One of their other devices, the Boost Evo, you can actually toggle between 20 and 40 seconds. You only have two time options. But when I was using this one, I, I couldn't figure out how to toggle it to 40. And then I found out, oh, you can. It really only does a 20 second dab. So the hits on it, they're not, they're not long enough. They're okay. They're good hits. It doesn't like scorch every dab like some other devices. I think the low temp on this is an actual low temp where you might have to run it a few times to get all your concentrate. But the hits are just too short. I mean, it's a... It's a small device, it's an excess, but the, the hits are excess. I'm getting a 20 second hit, that's extra small. It's about half the size or a third of the size. My typical dabs are about a minute on an e-rig. I have a few devices that if I can program it, I'll set it to give me a minute long dab. So this is like a third of the hit, but it's, it's really like the same size rig. I don't know. In my opinion, what this device is, it should be way cheaper. It should be under a hundred bucks. I think that it should have the glass in line with the top or more options because I think the little sidecar on here or it going off to the side just makes it so big it kind of defeats the small purpose. Oh, that's a, that's another thing on here is the chamber and the cap. And this is true on a lot of Dr. Dabber devices is they don't really set you up for a Terp Pearl. 
They don't sell turp pearls on their website. I don't think Dr. Dabbert knows about turp pearls. If you have a chamber that doesn't have circular airflow, something like a spinner cap can give you that, that can move the oil around, you don't always get the best hit. With this, it just blows the air straight down into the middle of the atomizer. It doesn't go in a circle like a spinner cap would or an auto spinner. So what happens when you do that is you pull cold air down into the center of it and it pushes all the wax towards the sides and it kind of pools up there. A better device would try to move the oil around and spread it around on the surface so you get like a thin layer of it instead of it pooling up in the corners that's how you get a better dab or that's how you maximize your hit just putting one turp pearl in like a regular banger can make a world of difference so i really think on the next device they should try to design it with a turp pearl in mind because i think all the devices are designed we are not supposed to use one and they just they don't give the best hits i'm not a huge fan of the brand overall I feel like they could do a lot better with their devices, especially for what they charge. Either way, it's not all bad. While it's not my favorite device, it is on the lower end of the price scale. Some people do prefer hotter, shorter dabs or a burst of a dab instead of like a more mellow, drawn out one. So I do know there is a market for people that want something like this. But for me, they could have done a lot better with this. Anyway, I think I'm going to do a tier list on E-Rig soon. So if there's one you want me to check out that you haven't seen me make a video on, leave me a comment. Let me know what E-Rig. There's so many, I can't get them all. Some of them I've tried. Some of them I, I won't try because they just look so bad. But leave me a comment, let me know, just so I've at least seen all the options suggested. Come smoke with me. I go live on Twitch every night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Might play a little bit of that new Zelda game. Have you tried it yet? And did you stop having dreams after you started getting high regularly? And it kind of happens to a lot of people. I talked about it a little bit in this video. I hope you have a lit day, my dudes.